If you ever want to start developing games, you will first have to choose a game engine. An engine is going to let you create what you want without having to worry about all of the boring stuff like loading and rendering. But some game engines are better for some things and some are better for other things. Which is why people often look for the best one before starting. The question is a little bit misleading, there isn't a best one overall, but there is a best one for what you want to do and this is what I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to compare the big two which is Unity and Unreal. First of all, let's talk quickly about 2D. If you want to make a 2D game, you will want to choose Unity for sure. Unreal simply doesn't have many 2D features because it wasn't made for it. Unity has a ton of 2D features like animations, collisions, you can even put bones on sprites and use that to make custom animations in the engine. It also has 2D lights which is very rare for an engine and also tile map features and many more. The main comparison point is in 3D so let's check this out. If you're going to start making games, you're probably going to spend many many hours developing your game. So first you need to make sure that you will enjoy the workflow of the engine you choose. So let's talk a little bit about the workflow and how it works. First off, Unity, the basic idea for it is that you have game objects placed in your world that contain components. You can think of a game object as a folder and components as files. For example, I can create an object with a mesh component that loads and displays a sphere. I can add to that object a rigid body component that will allow it to move. I could also add a collider for it to collide and you get the idea. I can also create my own scripts in C Sharp and add them to my object as a component. Scripts are usually made to keep values or give a behavior to an object, such as to make the enemy attack or keep the health value of the characters. The same script can be applied to many objects and the script can access and modify other components on the object. You can also create scripts that are childs of other scripts, so you can make for example a zombie script that is a child of the enemy script so that when you put the zombie script on your zombie object, it will have the functionalities of both the zombie and the enemy. By doing this, you can easily share methods or variables between very different objects by simply making all of their scripts the child of one main scripts that contain all of the shared variables and methods. You can also create a prefab of an object and that will simply save its state in a file so you can drag it or spawn it from the script and it will have the same components and values as the prefab. This way you don't have to keep building your objects and then adding the components every time you want to spawn one. Now let's take a look at Unreal Engine. The idea is very similar, you have actors which are like game objects and they also have components. You can also create your own component but often that is not how you will add behaviors to your actors. Instead each actor created is automatically a file in your project like the prefabs in Unity and each actor has space for code and blueprint attached to it. You can think of it as each actor having one script by default. However, if you want two different actors to do the same thing, such as two enemies, you can't make them share their script. The only way you can make something like this is if you make one main enemy actor and then make child actors of that one. So it is possible, but it's not quite as easy as Unity. For the flexibility of the scripts, I prefer Unity when it comes to the workflow. It might be hard to tell just from listening to me, but I guess you could try them both and see which one you prefer. When it comes to built-in functionalities, Unreal Engine is unmatched. Unity has a few features like to build a landscape in the engine, to make some animations, ragdolls and a basic particle system. Obviously, by making scripts, you can create your own features and do whatever you want. However, Unreal Engine has a lot more built-in features, so you don't have to remake all of them. First off, the material and shader editor is a lot better than Unity in my opinion. You can easily add nodes to create the effects that you want. Also, Unreal Engine has the option to simulate any skeletal mesh easily, unlike Unity which seems to only allow humanoid ragdolls and it is a lot more complex. Unreal also has built-in clot simulation with collisions with the environment without using any code. It also has behavior trees for AIs, physics constraints, physical animations, built-in splines and spline meshes to make things like roads. It also has built-in cinematics with advanced features such as creating events, 
a much better particle system with Niagara. And using the new Chaos system, you can easily add realistic cars and physics and also have mesh destructions. Some people also don't like coding and prefer to use visual scripting. Bolt engines offer a way to do visual scripting. Unity Bolt can be added to the engine pretty easily and can be used to give behaviors to the object. However, Unreal Blueprints is far superior. That's because it is built directly into the engine and the engine is made to use it. You can use Blueprint to create new classes, set default values and add behaviors. You can also use your C++ classes in your Blueprints if you want to mix both. Also, nearly every feature is available to Blueprint, so it's not like you're missing out by not using code. The final comparison is the performance and this actually surprised me. First I tried to test CPU performance by creating some cubes and making them change velocity every frame and having collisions enabled to test the collisions as well. This tests the frame update calls on top of the physics movements and the collision. Surprisingly Unity was able to handle 3500 cubes with about 10 FPS. When it comes to Unreal, after about 1000 cubes spawned, the game was already having a very hard time. When running the game in standalone, it's a little bit better but it still looks like Unity 1. Maybe by using C++ or different settings in the blueprint, I could improve the performance. But anyway, most of the time you won't have 1000 cubes moving around and colliding. Also, most of the time when you lag in a game, it's not because of the CPU but because of the GPU. So let's check this out now. I imported into both engine the same high poly mesh using 4K textures and normal map and a very small UV meaning that the texture and normal map will loop a lot on the body. With Unity after 242 instances I was down to 30 FPS. This might have been improved a little bit if I used the URP or HDRP which are the render pipelines of Unity. However, Unreal Engine just smashed this so hard that I doubt Unity could ever compare. I enabled the new Nanite feature from Unreal Engine 5, which simplifies the triangles in the mesh in points that you can't see because of distance or line of sight. With this, I easily spawned a ton of meshes. Sometimes it got a little bit laggy, but I simply had to rebuild the lighting and it fixed it instantly. I spawned over a thousand and it was still FPS cap at 120 FPS. It seems like when it comes to rendering high detail environments, Unreal is king by far. In conclusion, if you want to develop a small game, fast and easy and have fun, choose Unity. The script system, the editor and the way the script loads and compiles really fast and when you code you always have the autocomplete and errors show correctly is awesome. Unity also allows you to easily and quickly build your game to pretty much any device. Unreal can also build to any device but it takes a lot more effort, you have to add manually the SDKs and things like that. And there's also a lot more chance of things breaking when packaging a game. There are some things in Unreal that works when you're in the editor but not when you build the game so that's really annoying. And also packaging a game can take many many hours. Unreal Engine on the other end is generally slower to develop and harder to get into because it has many features. If you want to use C++ instead of Blueprint it is even harder because in Visual Studio often the autocomplete and error detection breaks for a bit. Meaning you have to wait for it or you have to type without knowing if you're doing it right. Also sometimes I get errors and it says that the error is somewhere but it's actually somewhere else. And also C++ that Unreal Engine uses is generally harder to code in than C Sharp that Unity uses. So if you're not too into coding, maybe choose Unity. Unless you want to use the blueprints of course. Also the compile time in Unreal can be pretty high. With my SSD compiling a few classes can take 30 seconds and on my whole drive it took minutes. Unlike Unity that is pretty much instant. But Unreal Engine has so many built-in features that are so awesome that it's very hard to pass on. If you want to make a high details game, you cannot miss out on Unreal. The performance increase on the render is insane. 
You could say that Unity is a more casual and Unreal is more professional in a way. If you want to get started in game dev and you have no experience, I would suggest starting with Unity because it's much more easy and simple, but feel free to start with Unreal if you want to give it a try. If you start with blueprints only, it can actually be pretty simple. But keep in mind that blueprints, when you start to get bigger projects, can start to get pretty laggy and that's actually a problem that I'm facing right now, so I'm learning C++ because my blueprints project are starting to lag pretty bad. I hope this video helps you find the differences between Unity and Unreal Engine. Whichever you choose, I wish you a lot of success. If you want to see more game dev videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel, I upload devlogs and other things like that.